One of my favorite things about Grace Cathedral is a window that we have, which is dedicated to three friends, John Henry Newman, John Keeble, and Edward Pusey. The three of them were founders of the Oxford Movement, a movement in the 1840s in England. And what I love most about the window is that ultimately, John Henry Newman left the church and went to a different denomination. So we, we have a window dedicated to somebody who quit um, because his contribution to the faith was so powerful. I've recently been reading a, in a biography about John Keeble, and he really was a man of his time. He inherited such a, relig a wonderful religious tradition, and he cared intensely about um, perpetuating that tradition. And it made him, in many ways, um, kind of an opponent to liberalism and to modernism. He didn't want to have people of different denominations and of belief and non-belief in Parliament because he felt that um, they were making decisions that would influence what the church did and how the church was. He didn't think people outside of the church should have that power. But despite the fact that he and I disagree on so much, I appreciate deeply their contribution to our understanding of holiness. They were people who put holiness at the very center of their life. They cared intensely about shaping their life into the image of Christ. And that, that example is very inspiring to me. The Oxford move, movement has had so many different effects. Stephen Neal um, wrote in his book, Anglicanism, about the way that they led to an increase in the frequency in which we receive Holy Communion. Um, they made it so that we have more ornate ceremonial and ritual. They are people who revived the monastic orders in the Anglican Church. They're people who um, changed so much of what we experience every day. Even this Gothic cathedral is Gothic in part because of the way that they helped us to see our connection to the whole church, not just to the church as it was found in the 16th century. One of my favorite parts of the biography about John Keeble is a letter that he wrote to John Henry Newman after John Henry Newman told him that he decided to had decided to leave the church. It goes like this. My dear Newman, you've been a kind and helpful friend to me in a way that scarce anyone else could have been. And you are so mixed up in my mind with old, dear, and sacred thoughts that I cannot well to part with, bear to part with you yet I cannot go along with you. I must cling to the belief that we are not really parted. You have taught me so, and I, I think you can, uh, you, you can um, teach me. And having relieved my mind with this little word, I will only say, God bless and reward you a thousandfold, all your help in every way to me and to many others. May you have peace where you are gone and help us in some way to get peace. And so, with somewhat of a feeling as if spring had been taken out of my year, I am always your affectionate and graceful, grateful J. Keeble. For me, at the heart of every religious um, reconciliation, and perhaps at the heart of every reconciliation of every conflict, is the deep belief in our own limitations, the humility to recognize that we do not see everything that there is, we only have a tiny, a tiny sense of, of what's really happening in the world. And this humility is essential to resolving any conflict. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.